Imagine for a moment that you possess an extraordinary superpower. This power is so potent that it can create life, fuel your dreams, and even unlock the mysteries of the universe. Now imagine throwing that superpower away each day. It sounds ridiculous, right? Yet that's exactly what you're doing every time you indulge in the temporary high of masturbation. Take a deep breath. Feel that energy pulsing within you. That's your life force, your raw power, and you're squandering it for a fleeting moment of physical pleasure. Masturbation is not merely a harmless habit. It's a thief that's robbing you of your spiritual essence. It may feel uncomfortable to hear this, but that discomfort is necessary for growth. Real growth often comes from confronting the uncomfortable. Take a hard look at yourself. Are you genuinely living up to your full potential? Are you as energized, focused, and spiritually connected as you could be? If the answer is no, then what you're about to discover could radically transform your life. This isn't about moral judgment or religious dogma. It's about tapping into age-old wisdom that modern science is only now beginning to understand. It's about reclaiming your energy, your power, and unleashing your true potential. In Taoist philosophy, there's the concept of Jing, which is viewed as the most precious essence within your body. Think of it like the oil in your car's engine, essential for everything to function smoothly. Every time you ejaculate, you drain this essence, your life force energy. The ancient Taoists believed that it took 100 drops of blood to create just one drop of semen. That's how valuable they considered this fluid. But ejaculation is natural, you might argue. Well, it's time to challenge that assumption. We live in a mental paradigm, conditioned to believe that it's natural to self-pleasure and ejaculate frequently. However, even if something is natural, we know that overindulgence in anything can have detrimental effects. You can't climb to your highest self if you're constantly giving in to your lowest desires. It's like trying to climb a mountain while digging a pit beneath your own feet. Now let's get specific about what's being lost every time you ejaculate. Semen is far more than just a fluid. It's a rich, complex substance containing over 200 different proteins, along with vitamins B12, C and E, zinc, calcium, citric acid, fructose, and other critical nutrients. You're literally expelling life-giving substances from your body that are designed to create a human being. This is not mere rhetoric, it's a scientific fact. But it's not just about the physical components you're losing. It's about the energy, the potential, the very essence of creation that you're throwing away each time you engage in this habit. Every time you choose to masturbate, you're opting for temporary pleasure at the expense of long-term power and vitality. Think about the most charismatic and successful people you know. Have you ever noticed how they seem to exude a certain magnetic aura? That's the power of retained sexual energy. When you stop wasting that energy, you start radiating a charisma that draws in success, opportunities, and deeper, more meaningful connections. Comment below if you know you've been depleting these vitamins and nutrients. For those of you who are skeptical, let's delve into the science behind semen retention. 1. Dopamine desensitization. Frequent masturbation desensitizes your dopamine receptors. Dopamine is the neurotransmitter responsible for pleasure and reward. And when you overstimulate it through constant masturbation, your ability to feel joy and motivation in all areas of life diminishes. This desensitization doesn't just impact your sex life. It bleeds into every aspect of your existence, leaving you numb and disconnected from life's pleasures. You're essentially giving yourself a form of anhedonia, the inability to experience pleasure. 2. Testosterone Levels Ejaculation reduces testosterone levels, a hormone crucial for energy, motivation, cognitive function, and overall drive. 
Research has shown that abstaining from ejaculation for just seven days can lead to a 145.7% increase in testosterone levels. Imagine what that surge could do for your energy, mental clarity and ambition. The vitality you experience from even a brief period of retention could be the difference between languishing in mediocrity and excelling at your goals. 3. Porn-Induced Dysfunction We're currently witnessing a rise in porn-induced erectile dysfunction. The brain, conditioned to respond to digital stimuli rather than real human interaction, begins to malfunction. This rewiring of your brain doesn't just affect your sex life, it alters the way your mind processes reward, satisfaction and pleasure. This impact extends into your ability to form deep, meaningful relationships, as your brain increasingly craves artificial, shallow gratification over authentic connections. 4. Androgen Receptors and Sensitivity Studies suggest that semen retention increases androgen receptors in the brain. These receptors are responsible for responding to testosterone, and when they're more sensitive, the effects of this vital hormone are amplified. More testosterone sensitivity translates into more energy, sharper focus, and heightened mental and physical performance. 5. Improved reflexes and physical performance. Abstaining from ejaculation has also been linked to increased spinal cord reflex excitability. In simpler terms, this means your reflexes are sharper, your coordination improves, and your overall physical performance gets a significant boost. This effect is particularly beneficial for those who engage in sports or physically demanding activities. Let's take this a step further. Have you heard of ejaculation? It's the practice of experiencing orgasm without ejaculating. Yes, orgasm and ejaculation are not the same thing. Ejaculation isn't just some modern wellness trend. It's rooted in ancient Taoist sexual practices and is gaining traction in contemporary sexology research. By learning to separate orgasm from ejaculation, you retain the nutrients and life force in your semen, keeping that energy within your body. The benefits? Higher energy levels, better prostate health, enhanced sexual stamina, and more intense full-body orgasms that surpass the brief pleasure of traditional ejaculatory orgasms. If you want to learn how to ejaculate, then give us a like and subscribe. We'll help you learn while you'll help us grow. Now let's talk about the spiritual essence behind this. In many spiritual traditions, especially tantric and Taoist practices, sexual energy is considered the key to higher states of consciousness. It's the fuel for what's often referred to as kundalini awakening, a rising of energy from the base of the spine to the crown of the head, leading to profound spiritual enlightenment. Yet, instead of channeling this powerful energy upward to illuminate your mind, Many men spill it out, dimming their spiritual light. The Vigyan Bhairav Tantra, an ancient text that contains 112 meditation techniques, includes several practices focused on using sexual energy for spiritual growth. One technique advises maintaining awareness at the start of sexual union, keeping attention on the initial intensity and circulating that energy throughout the body instead of losing it through ejaculation. This practice isn't about repressing desires, it's about mastering them. Do you often feel lost, struggling to find purpose or genuine connections in your life? If you do, it's likely because you're depleting the very energy needed for spiritual growth. Your sexual energy isn't just for reproduction or fleeting pleasure, it's the most potent creative force you possess. It's the energy that can fuel your most inspired ideas, your highest aspirations, and your most profound spiritual insights. When you consistently waste this energy, you're denying yourself the chance to fully unfold into the person you're meant to be. This journey isn't about repression, it's about mastery. Let me repeat that. It's not about denying yourself, but about mastering the energy within you. 
Think of your sexual energy like an oil well. Will you let it gush out wastefully, or will you refine it into a force that powers your entire life? So how do you begin to channel this energy constructively? Here's a roadmap. 1. Question your impulses. Every time you feel the urge to masturbate, pause. Take a deep breath and ask yourself, is this really the best use of my creative energy? Imagine what you could achieve if you redirected that urge into something more meaningful. 2. Treat your sexual energy as sacred. Begin seeing your sexual energy as sacred. Your body is a temple, and your sexuality is a source of vitality, creativity, and spiritual power. Start to honor it as such. Instead of viewing sexuality as merely a source of instant gratification, see it as a wellspring of life force that can fuel your ambitions. 3. Transmute your sexual energy. Whenever sexual energy arises, channel it into something productive. Exercise, creative projects, or passion pursuits. Whether it's doing push-ups, working on that business plan, or diving into art, you'll be amazed at how this energy can be redirected to fuel your goals. 4. Meditate and circulate your energy. Learn to circulate this energy through your body. Here's a simple practice. Sit comfortably with your eyes closed. Visualize your sexual energy as a warm, golden light in your pelvic area. As you inhale, imagine this light rising up your spine. As you exhale, let it flow down the front of your body. With each breath, visualize this energy circulating and nourishing your entire being. 5. Explore tantric and Taoist practices. Engage in tantric practices with a partner who shares a deep spiritual connection with you. Tantric sex isn't just about pleasure, it's about using sexual connection as a pathway to spiritual awakening. Start by practicing extended foreplay, synchronized breathing with your partner, and maintaining deep eye contact during intimacy. Through these practices, sexual energy is no longer just about the physical act. It becomes a shared journey towards spiritual growth and deeper connection. 6. Testicular Breathing this Taoist technique involves using breath and visualization to draw energy from your testicles up through your body. Here's how to practice it. Sit comfortably and focus on your breath. With each inhalation, visualize energy rising from your testicles up through your spine. And with each exhalation, feel it flow down through the front of your body. This method is a powerful way to cultivate and circulate sexual energy throughout your body, helping to prevent stagnation and promote overall vitality. 7. Regular physical exercise. Engaging in regular exercise is crucial for circulating the conserved sexual energy throughout your body. Exercise like yoga, tai chi or qigong are particularly effective in harmonizing energy flows and maintaining overall well-being. Physical activity helps to keep your energy dynamic and ensures that it doesn't become stagnant, which could otherwise lead to frustration or discomfort. Some may argue that frequent ejaculation is necessary to prevent prostate cancer. However, recent studies suggest that the supposed link between ejaculation frequency and reduced cancer risk is far from conclusive. In fact, your overall lifestyle, diet, and genetic predispositions play a much more significant role in your prostate health than the frequency of ejaculation. So, let's be honest. Is the belief in this supposed health benefit really why you masturbate, or is it just a convenient justification? Consider this provocative thought. Could it be that certain forces want you to keep masturbating? A population that's drained of vital energy, numbed by constant dopamine hits, is easier to control. The more you indulge in instant gratification, the easier it is to be distracted and disconnected from your true purpose. In a world saturated with sexual imagery and the lure of quick pleasures, choosing to retain and cultivate your sexual energy becomes an act of self-empowerment and personal revolution. Here's a challenge for you. Go 30 days without masturbating. Commit to retaining your energy and channel it into something higher. Journal your experiences, 
track how your mood, energy levels, mental clarity, and spiritual insights change over time. Pay attention to how your interactions with others shift, how your productivity increases, and how your dreams become more vivid and meaningful. It won't be easy. You'll face resistance from within and from those around you. But remember, growth lies beyond comfort. Each time you resist the urge, you're building willpower, reclaiming your power, and choosing your higher self over fleeting pleasure. If you manage to complete the 30 days, you'll likely find that you've tapped into a wellspring of energy and confidence you never knew existed. You'll experience increased charisma, mental sharpness, deeper relationships, and a renewed sense of purpose. This isn't just about counting days. It's about making a fundamental shift in how you approach life. Remember, the 30-day challenge is only a benchmark. It's not the destination. True mastery lies in making this a lifestyle. Semen retention doesn't mean avoiding sex. It means mastering your sexual energy. It's about learning how to harness your desires instead of being controlled by them. Dive deeper into research on ejaculation techniques, Taoist practices, and tantric traditions. The journey doesn't end after 30 days. It's just the beginning of a new way of living. You are more than just your physical body or your urges. You are a spiritual being with infinite potential. By retaining your sexual energy, you're choosing to nourish your spirit instead of draining it. You're aligning with your higher purpose instead of getting lost in momentary pleasures. Think about this. Every time you retain your semen, you're making a decision that feeds your spirit rather than starves it. You're choosing creation over waste, empowerment over weakness, and ascension over stagnation. The power is literally in your hands. What will you do with it? The spiritual traditions of many cultures, from Tantra to Taoism, have long understood that sexual energy is a gateway to higher states of consciousness. By mastering this energy, you're not just gaining physical benefits, you're opening yourself up to spiritual insights, deeper purpose, and a profound sense of connection to the universe. You're transforming your life force into a vehicle for spiritual growth and personal evolution. So, are you ready to reclaim your energy? To stop killing your spirit and start fueling your ascension? The choice is yours. And it's a choice that only you can make. But remember this, every decision you make either feeds your spirit or starves it. Every time you choose to retain your semen, you're choosing to empower yourself, to create rather than waste, and to ascend rather than stagnate. This journey isn't just about avoiding masturbation. It's about taking control of your life and stepping into your full power as a man. It's about choosing to embody your highest potential and align with your true purpose. The question is, will you continue down the path of least resistance or will you take the higher road, the road of mastery, empowerment and spiritual growth? The power is in your hands. What will you do with it?